yeah, 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 yeah. TikTok, this up. You look fat, this up. Me love your curve, them. Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since I've actually uploaded a video and I needed to take a well deserved, um, a little break, a little two weeks break. And I'm back, I'm back, and I'm better, and I'm well. <laughs> I'm here to produce content for you guys all summer long, like great quality content. I honestly took that break to like figure out what type of content I want to post, like what I want from my channel, like what content is working for me, what content my viewers like to see more, and all that. So I basically took the time out to figure that all out, and we're back and we're better. I have some content planned out for you guys to the month of July and August um yeah so as you guys could see from the title in today's video it's a vlog so in today's video I'll be going on a solo date like my first ever solo date I'm gonna say date because I think it will be between two people you know two persons so I wanna say my first solo lunch <laughs> um I don't know but um I saw this video on TikTok that Kevin Gates I might put it on the screen somewhere if you don't know who you are here's a great way to find out Go somewhere by yourself and think about who you are as a person. Think about the things that make you feel good. Think about the things that make you happy. Think about the things that make you sad. Think about the things you love. Think about the things you hate. You are getting to know yourself. I've been to who I was. It's just that my goals have changed. I saw this video on TikTok of um, Kevin Gates saying like, if you really want to know yourself, like the real you, go out by yourself, like, Think about the things that you like, the things that you dislike, what makes you happy, what makes you sad, and all of that. So you say, you know what? I probably should just do this. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to do it in a get ready with me style because you guys seem to love when I do, um, you know, put on my makeup, put on my outfit, and then go out and show no So I'll be doing that. So it's 1.20. Um, I want to reach before 3 o'clock. So I'm going to do something very simple. It's daytime and... I'm not putting on a bag of bag of my face to be honest because they're dating. So I'm going to set this up somewhere. Okay guys, so this is the look that I came up with and you know some natural. I did some loose curls in the hair. Um yeah, this is what it's looking like. So now I'm going to get dressed. Um I don't know what I'm gonna wear it in. Um yeah, so when I get dressed, I'll come back and guys, I promise you I am working on an area for me to showcase my outfit and all of that. The stuff are on its way from Amazon. So as soon as it reach, I'll do a video of me like setting up. Why is this so oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'll do a video of me like showing you guys how I set up the area, like decorating and all that good stuff. I can't wait to the beach because I'm so excited. But yeah, I'm gonna get dressed and I'll show you guys what I put together after I'm done makeup my mind. And then we're off 
and this so loaded. Okay guys, so this is me. I decided on wearing this white button down and some jean shorts and for shoes. These heels, like I really love them so freaking much. It's this like straw vibe. Um, it's from Sheen. You know me, brand ambassador. So I paired the outfit with some pearl accessories with this bag that I showed you guys in my last um Sheen haul. It has the pearl um handles, so I decided to just fit with pearl jewelry and the bag match with the shoes. And then <laughs> you guys know me, these shades from Craze Accessories. <laughs> This, get with the program. The fragrance that I'll be wearing is from Gassier. This is the Floral Rose. This fragrance gives like a brunch vibe, and I mean it's daytime, so yeah, I'm gonna use it. Really love it. Um, I'll catch you guys when I'm in the car, or probably when I reach to my destination. I don't know, but yeah, I'll see you guys. Okay, guys, so I'm in my car right now, and. I called the restaurant that I initially wanted to go and they aren't open for local locals that aren't fully vaccinated so that's kind of yeah um I'm going to see where I could go um because I honestly want to I want this I want to go somewhere by myself and just you know yeah so um yeah I guess when I reach there I'll catch you guys I don't know where yet but yeah because I don't know where exactly I'll be going as yet, I just decided to take this opportunity to talk to you guys until I kind of make up my mind and I bring to which where I can go. I, I don't know how to say this because I don't want to put like, you know, like personal things out there. I mean, I don't want nobody to say nothing. I mean, I don't want to say nothing. I'm not about to take it and run with it. So, me, I try to think what I can say in a good way. So, you know, come off as harsh. So basically, um, I figured that I don't want to, how to say this, I don't want to spend the rest of my life in Angola. <laughs> I don't want to spend the rest of my life here because I have a lot of like things planned, content included, and I figured that this country, it has been very good to me, but I don't want to spend the rest of my life here. I feel like it's a uh, Hold back. Man, why is come not serious? Man, know the Angolans them are gonna attack me. So, more for it in our way, you know, come off as harsh. But I feel like there isn't a lot of opportunity, especially for me and for like my future career and like things that I am interested in. Like, you don't have a lot of opportunities for me. So, I kind of decide on moving and like going away. Definitely decide on that. I am going to go away. Um, I don't know when, but it is in the works. Yeah, I want to go away. I cannot deal with like not being able to put out the content that I want to and like the things that I have planned for my career. Like me, I'm a makeup artist, but the thing is, with being a makeup artist in this country, it's very hard. I don't know about the rest of them, but me I talk to myself like like since I was pregnant I had my baby like my fall off a lot and I'm trying my hardest to like come back on track like get motivated and all of them things and like seeing that I live in this country that doesn't I don't know how to say it but like you know and every day me go get clients and if me not get clients that means I'm not making no money if you understand basically and it's very hard and you know you don't have a lot of events like for instance in Jamaica, I'm just using Jamaica because I know there and I'm from there. So I know how things is um in Jamaica. So basically, you know, every day it have an event. Let me say let me, let me not say every day because me don't know how things has been since the whole um corona thing come never there Jamaica when Corona am. But I when I was there, like every day it had a every day it have some every day it have a party, photo shoot, wedding, funeral, and every day it have something. So basically every day is a chance to get, you know, appointments. Every day is a chance to get more than five appointments. Like the opportunity is there. In Angola, I feel like it have a lot more makeup artists than it usually have when I just started out. And like it have more competition. Even though I don't view them as competition, honestly, I view them as my co-workers. Even though I don't work in the same establishment. I view them as my co-workers, like the other makeup artists. Them, but I don't know. I don't want to say the wrong things. But yeah, I, I'm not getting as much clients as I used to. I know that COVID plays a huge part with it. And also me, like, stop doing makeup to go work 
in the bank and all of that have things to do with it because a lot of people think that I'm still working at the bank a lot of people think like I stopped doing makeup and all of that so I have like a huge thing to do with it like me not putting myself out there like I'm used to like I used to put myself out there like and live every minute doing my makeup and Instagram doing my, my clients makeup and live so people could have seen that you know I'm a makeup artist basically but I feel like then all in all, it's still not have the, 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 the opportunity that I would like. I don't want to say I want to be spoon fed and just have people come take I know you have to work for what you want. But I feel like say, the opportunity is not there. So, yeah, that's how I've been feeling. Um, okay, guys, so I'm to know this. I decided to come to Blanche's Beach Shop. Like, this is one of my favorite spots before the whole Corona, and I totally forgot about it. They are open to locals to sit down and eat so I'm not great so I hope I'm gonna lick my car you know my shower could not come in come here damn come here one come out I don't know why I could not come I think I'm in my trunk but I don't know but yeah this was one of my favorite spots them free covid so i decided to come here get my favorite meal and make her come eat and have a nice time by myself this is my favorite spot so why not come to your favorite spot and hang out with your favorite person which is this <laughs> it's gonna be weird because everybody know me <laughs> everybody not the vlog it's gonna be so awkward because a lot of vehicle there so that means a lot of people in there and then I got to see me a flag out in public. And I'm gonna like that. But that's one of my fears, them. I for fears. So let's face them together. This is going to somebody really cool. I should take off the glasses. Nice. I want a picture and I did that, so I'm gonna take them. It's not needed right now. I'm about good. Mala, are you open for the car? I could come and sit down, right? I could come and sit down, or that? Yeah. Oh, so I thought I had a bit of a feeling. I'm lagging. Okay, so just go around and put in my other. Alright. Alright, All right, thanks. <laughs> no. Hello. <laughs> You good? Mm -hmm. You finish with that? Yeah. Oh, um, I'm gonna get a bacon cheeseburger with a small fry and a mango salad. Okay, guys, so I'm here and it's a lot of friggin' people surrounding me. I am kinda nervous, but I have to overcome that fear if I want to be a YouTuber. <laughs> I hope I'm not here because I'm not chosen, I'm whispering. So yeah, a lot of people is here. Um, I'm here by myself. My battery is about to die. I must say, so if it die, I don't know why. I'm just gonna probably continue vlog on my phone. But I am taking this time to, you know, recognize myself, acknowledge, you know, certain attributes that make me me. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay guys, I have to continue on my phone because my um, camera battery is dead. So as you guys could see, it's buzzing. So it's time to go for my auto. Um, can I turn the camera? So this is what it's looking like. Yummy. Oh, I wanted a cover for this because I don't think I'll be eating this all off. But this is a jerk chicken big bowl. A bacon cheeseburger. Pickles, lettuce, tomato, and a small fries. I don't know why I keep on adding fries and I know I don't eat fries. I just like the idea of having burger and fries. <laughs> but yeah. Okay guys, so honestly, this was one of the hardest things I had to do, but I really appreciate myself for doing it, going out by myself. It wasn't 
it didn't turn out bad to be honest it didn't turn out bad i really i, I rewatched the video that i was talking about with kevin gates and i like questioned myself like what are some things that i love about myself like what made me happy what made me upset like all of these things like i brainstorm them and i definitely have to work on some other things them what made me sad because it's like stupid things all in all this was a fun activity to do i definitely will be going on many more solo dates for this summer um you know just find myself basically i'm gonna laugh so i'm gonna want to find myself but basically i get more in tune with myself you know what i'm wearing yes yeah, so now that i'm leaving i'm going on the football field with my husband and my child get back to my family <laughs> to be honest i feel like because my camera battery dead i really like leave earlier than i intended to because I, I i honestly planned on spending all afternoon here but this camera battery did too quick and that resulted in me kind of like getting a little bit you know ready for go but i added two extra battery for the camera so whenever i'm out and you know like the camera battery did i have backup on me I don't like vlogging on my phone to be honest. I'm gonna like a vlog on my phone. I'm so sorry if this vlog like isn't as fun and like outgoing and laughter and all of that. This vlog is mostly like like be more vulnerable to you guys and like showing a different side of me. Like even this is a different side of me for myself. Like I don't normally do these things to be honest. As much as I might seem like an antisocial person, I really like being around people. I really like I enjoy people company like when I can't find me I go by myself not ever not one day not never I tried and this is one for the books I'm gonna do it again